day so far. My video today is a makeup tutorial on this eye look. It's something that I've been wearing a lot recently and it's using a palette that I've been absolutely loving. So I hope that you enjoy the video and keep watching if you want to learn how to do this. I'm going to use a cream shadow as my base so that the colors pop a little bit more and stay longer. And I'm using Satin Taupe and this is from Mary Kay. I think I've used this in a day to night video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. And I'm only going to apply this onto my lid. I'm not going to go into my crease or anywhere else, just right there. If the cream color that you're using dries fast, I would recommend doing one eye at a time. But this color doesn't set right away, so I have a little bit of time to play with it. For my eye look today, I'm using the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. And I love this. I took it traveling with me when I went overseas. I like it so much because it has a really good mixture of matte and shimmer colors. And they're just really pretty colors. So anyways, I'm going to pick up this kind of, I don't know, what is that, a taupey color? It's a shimmery taupey color and onto a E60 flat brush, I am going to tap off any excess and just press that all over my lid, all over top of the color that I just laid down. It's really pretty. I hope it's showing up on camera as pretty as it is in person. Once that's down, I'm picking up a blending brush and just blending out the edges. This color is actually really nice if you just wanted to do like a single color for your shadow and you could pretty much just chuck on mascara and a little bit of eyeliner you'd be good to go. But that is not the point of today's tutorial so let's move on to the next step. Onto a tapered blending brush, I'm picking up this color right here and it's kind of like a darker version of the first color that we used. I'm just rolling it in, tapping off the excess again and I'm pretty much going to put this in the outer half of my crease. So starting right about there and stopping right about there. Using the same blending brush, I'm going to blend that out. Picking up some more of that darker color onto my tapered blending brush, I'm just going to apply that again right over top of where I just did. It's all about the layers. Onto a more firm blending brush, I'm going to pick up this darker purpley mauve color. Is mauve how you pronounce it? I never know. Mauve? Mauve? Anyway, picking up some of that, and I'm going to place this pretty much in the very, very outer corner. Do you like that? Very, very. It's very descriptive. And I'm pretty much making just little tiny circles, dragging it over and in just a little tiny bit. And this might look a little bit messy to begin with, but the more that you blend, the better it'll look. I'm then going back to my flat shader brush, and I'm picking up the medium color just onto the tip. And I'm just going to connect the crease color more towards my lid just like that just so it blends it down a tiny little bit now for eyeliner you could totally go for a classic wing or whatever you want to do I want to keep mine a little bit more messy and hazy looking so I'm going to use a pencil and I'm using the Eclipse pencil from Sigma I've only used this I think once before and I didn't actually use it as a top liner I used it in my waterline so I'll see how I like it I'm not going to bring the line totally into the corner, I'm just going to bring it to where pretty much the color of my eye stops when I'm looking straight, and then I'll take a brush and I'll slightly smudge it over just after. Don't worry if it's not completely perfect on both sides. We're about to go in with a little smudgy brush in just a sec. Speak of the devil, this is the Smudge E21 brush from Sigma. And I am just going to go right over top of that line and slightly again drag it outwards and smudge it. And now to make the tails a little bit cleaner and more even, I'm just taking a little makeup wipe and running it along just the bottom. Onto an E34 brush, I'm just going to pick up that lighter color and on the tip of it, run it underneath my eye. And I will take that color in all the way into the inner tear duct area. And then on the same brush, I'm picking up the little bit darker color and running that on the outer, probably third of that under eye part. 
And when it comes to the tail, I pretty much just follow it up and out. And if you lose any of the darkness with the tail, we can go over top of that with the black again in just a second. And once more with the really deep color, picking that up on the brush, and this time pretty much just on the very outer portion of the eye, just right under there. If you feel like you lost your intensity with the black, you can take the pencil and just go over it once more. This time kind of sticking a little bit away from the edges because the edges are already smudgy. Try and just place it in the middle of where the color should be. And stick again close to the lash line on the main part of your eye. Now you can curl your lashes. And go wild with your mascara. I'm using Dior Show Blackout and L'Oreal Telescopic. Now that my mascara is on, I'm going to pop on a set of false lashes and I'm using the number 43's by Red Cherry today, so I will put these on and I'll be right back. Alright, once those are on, pick up your eye pencil again and run that along your upper waterline just so that there isn't a gap between your eye and the black. You just want it to all be black. Let it be black. A lot of you ask me how I line my upper waterline without blinking or flinching too much. Basically my trick is look away from wherever the pencil is and even if it's not looking, move your head away. So instead of just jabbing the pencil in straight on, put it somewhere where your eye isn't facing. So I'm moving my head this way, therefore my eyeball goes that way, therefore it doesn't irritate me when I do this. And then when I go in my inner corner, I turn my head this way and my eyeball faces the other way. And it's a lot easier to do. And next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the Essence Pencil in Blonde. Following that, I use my Sigma Brow Powder in Light, and I actually use the darker of the colors a little bit more. I kind of mix the two, but mainly the dark one. To set those in place, I'm using Benefit's Gimme Brow. And for a brow highlight, I'm headed back to my Warm Neutrals palette, and I'm going to pick up this lighter color right here onto just a little angled brush, if I can locate one. Aha. I always think it's a really good thing to stick to a matte highlight color if the rest of your eye look is a shimmer look, and vice versa. If you are using a matte look, I like a shimmery highlight. Time for concealer. I'm using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach, as always. And following that, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear in NC20. I'm going to set that all in place using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light and a Real Techniques little brush. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using the NARS Translucent Pressed Powder. After that, I'm taking Essence Sun Club Bronzer onto a tulip brush, and I'm just going to add a little bit of that to my face to warm my face up. For my contour today, I'm using NYX Blush in Taupe onto my NARS brush. I'm going to use that on my nose as well. For my blush for this look, I'm using Hervana from Benefit, and it is awesome. I just got this probably about a week and a half ago. I've been using it almost every single day. I love the colors. So, onto a blush brush, I'm just going to swirl all the colors together and apply that to my cheekbones. And for a highlight, I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, one of my absolute favorites. I'm just going to use that on my fingers. And I'm attaching that up to my brow bone. I'm also going to pick up some of that highlight onto a brush and put that on my inner corners. For my lower lash line, I'm using a pencil from the makeup store, and it's a really, really bronze pencil, and it's called Gold Digger. And for my lips, I'm using a product that I haven't used before. It's from NARS, and it is the Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil, and it's in New Lover. I don't think I like 
that on its own, so on top of it, I'm going to put Australis Color Inject Lip Gloss in Lambada. Love the smell of this stuff. And to finish things off, I'm using Max Fix Plus. And that is the completed makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial. Don't forget, if you do recreate this look, I would love to see it. Hashtag SatNightArite so I can come and find it on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or wherever you post it. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel. I would love to see you guys over there. I do tons of vlog videos and follow me around stuff and just fun stuff. So I'll leave that link right in the description bar for you. And that is everything. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.